YouTubers and welcome back. And today we got some parts to talk about. Not doing too much on the 400 yet because I'm still collecting parts, odds and ends to get it all together to get down to the machine shop. I have the AFR heads right here. I'll show you some of the things I've done to this and I'll show you a bit valve that I actually bent myself. And if it's your birthday and if you like unicorns, happy birthday. So today we're talking about this stuff. Now it's time for a random video. Yeah. <laughs> we watched the pit bull in its natural habitat doing its instinctual desire to tear apart flesh but today it is just a stuffed animal And welcome back. So I guess I'll start right here and I'll work my way down. Of course, these are the valves that came out the Alvaro head. I got one bent valve, had the ordinary valve and get that one fixed. Let's get this guy out of the way because it's blocking my view, even though unicorns are magical and beautiful. Let's put them right here with baby Jesus to protect him. Stater unicorn, whatever. So these are the heads I'm going to run on my 400 cubic inch small block Chevy. They are AFR 210 cylinder heads. I'm going to go with a different spring package, retainer, and locator on the bottom. So stay tuned for that. I don't have those parts in. Like I said, I'm, as I get parts in, I'll explain why I'm using them and what direction I'm going in. Some of you guys probably say it's dumb. Some of you guys are going to agree with me, but it is what it is. It's my motor and I can do what I want. So I'm going to use 210 AFR heads in my 400 cubic inch small block Chevy. Now, for some people, they, they say you might want to go bigger. It is going to be a street motor. It's going to be a, a pretty hot street motor, but I'm also trying to keep it reasonable that's going to have good cylinder cylinder distribution, good drivability, and a really, really good... What I'm going for is this. It's not peak power, but I'm going for a very usable power curve for what I am doing. I do need the motor run out the back end because I'm on nitrous. Nitrous cars usually are hurting in the back end. So I am going to put a decent sized cam in it, but it's going to be specced accordingly because the cam builder is actually really good. He did a good job with the LT1. So I'm positive he's going to do a good job with this guy right here. Now, as you guys know, this was the original piston I was going to run on the 400 cubic inch motor. It has a little dome right here. But since E85 turned out to be more trouble than it's worth for me in my area, some of you guys are going to argue, you know, I decided to go with 93 because I can go right down the road, fill it up, and if I want to go a little faster, put more timing in it, then I can put some race gas in there and put it in a little more kill mode. It's not going to be a real kill mode motor. It's going to be a fun 400 cubic inch street motor. This is the piston I'm going to go with. It's the exact same piston, except as you can see, it is a flat top piston, which is going to lower the compression from 12.8 to 11.3. So that's going to be way more doable with uh, pump gas than 12.8. I don't, you could probably put a lot of bleed or, you know, on, on the cam to keep the compression, static compression lower with 12.8, but this is going to make it a lot easier to do and a lot safer. My guess is that tuning the 400 cubic inch motor with 11.3 is going to be equivalent to being on the ragged edge of the LT1, which is 12.0 compression. So I'm going to just go with that for now and hope that it all works out. I have not used these lifters, but they're pretty cool. So let me pull the camera up and I'll explain what they are and why I'm running these solids over my traditional components that I've ran for a long time, which I've never had any issues, but this price was right and I'll show you a cool little feature that they have. And we'll first start from right here. If you look right here, as the lifted travels down the bore, they raise this up so it gets oil more full time. So if it goes down to a certain point, you're gonna restrict the oil going around here and if you look right there there is a hole see that hole right there and that hole feeds 
the little needle bearings in here full time pressurized. So as long as you have pressurized oil going to your needle bearings, that seriously extends the life of your solid roller lifter because solids run a lot of spring pressure compared to a hydraulic roller motor. And keeping these guys alive, especially on a small block with a small circle cam is critical. So the more oil you can get to these guys, the better. So this is my first time running these guys and we'll see how they work out. So if you guys are wondering what their purple light is throughout the video, it's where my wife grows her potted plants. All right guys, so what we have here is a very simple drawing and pretend the cam's going straight up and down right here. And this is your cam lobe. What we have here is a standard bicycle cam. And I know these aren't the actual size. This is just representative of what this does. So we have is a standard bicycle cam and then we have a small bicycle cam. Since I am running a 40 cubic inch motor, it's the same stroke as a 383. That's where 383 has got their stroke from that. So you can run a standard base circle cam on a 400 cubic inch motor because it's a three point, what is it? 3.750. Always can't remember the last numbers. A 3.750 stroke, and that is the crank, and that is how much stroke that crank has and the real estate it takes up inside your block. And since we're not running that much stroke on a 400 cubic inch motor, you can just 99% of the time, you can just shave this area off right here on the rod and you'll have your clearance on a standard base circle cam. Now the LS's and the big blocks have very large base circles in the cam and that is a big, big help on your valve train. Because the reason why is as this guy comes along and it's going around the mountain when it comes, the less steep this transition is right here, the more gentle it is on your valve train so you don't have to run as much spring pressure you're not getting as much you know violent closing and opening you know as you would on a small base circle so if you look at this it is a much harsher transition as it comes around that mountain and in a very horrible nutshell diagram right here that is basically the benefits of a you know standard base circle versus large or if you have a big block is even bigger so you have even a, a more gradual slope and the reason why is because on the small block Chevys the uh, Gen 1s and Gen 2s, the cam is down further. So the only way that they can clear that on a stock block or anything that's in a stock configuration is to make a smaller base circle cam. And that's why you see small base circle cams, but you have to run a lot of spring pressure and it is way, way more violent on your valve train than it is versus a larger base circle cam. Mm. Pretty unicorns and cylinder ports, baby. So these are the AFR heads, of course. Only thing I did was just smooth out the CNC just a little bit, not too much. And I knocked back the stud where it comes into the head right there, into the port. So that way it's not causing you turbulence. These are the same heads that I had on my 350 cubic inch small block Chevy, which with the compression it had and the big can that I was supposed to be in a 400 cubic inch motor, it could never take advantage of the heads or the cam so that's one thing you guys got to take into consideration when you're building your motors if your lungs your motor isn't big enough to flow the cam or the heads of the intake that you have you're not making any more horsepower in a because it's just not physically possible to pull any more air and get it out with a smaller lung of the motor so the 400 cubic inch motor is going to definitely take advantage of these heads and the new cam that i'm going to be putting on there so i'm very excited to see how this works out and with that said i think that concludes the video i know this is a very short video guys but as things come in and i don't really have much to do because it's the winter time and it's right around new year's so i'm not doing any projects at this point but i figured i'd just take a little time and explain what i'm doing to my 400 cubic inch small block chevy and if you guys want to know more don't forget to subscribe hit that bell for notifications and that like button and until next time peace